Okay, well, welcome back to day four and of multiplying and dividing integers. Today we're going to focus on if there's more than two numbers in our expression. And this is something that we need to keep in mind. If there's an odd number of negatives, <clears throat> the result will be negative. And if there's an even number of negatives, the result will be positive. This is actually all you really need to remember. If you can remember this, then you will be able to do any of these kinds of problems. So let's look at our first example. There are two negatives and one positive. So the two negatives is an even number. So a negative times a negative is a positive, okay? So even numbers means the answer will be positive. <clears throat> so we can just do three times four, which is 12. 12 times two is 24. If you kind of wanna see the process here, this is like doing negative three times four which would have been negative 12. And then we could have times that by negative two, and a negative times a negative is a positive, and two times 12 is 24. So if you wanna see it a little bit more written out. Um, if there are small numbers like this, then you probably can just do the mental math. Okay, here's a different look at it. So we've got a positive, a negative, and a negative. So th that is a even number. It's an even number of negatives, and we would do, we can do it out just so you can see what it looked like, but five times negative two would be negative 10. Then we'd still have our negative four, and negative times a negative is a positive. So our final simplification here would be 40. But once again, you could just count how many negatives there are. If there's an even number of negatives, then it's positive. If there's an odd number, and it's negative. So here's another one for us. There's an odd number of negatives here. There's one, two, three negatives. <clears throat> if we go through the process here, we would get a negative times a negative is a positive. So positive 12. And then positive 12 times negative 4, which would equal negative 48. Now that's something you might be able to do in your head or you might have to do it out like that. Either way, you're gonna get the same answer. And what if there is just one negative? So negative two times one times six. Well, one is an odd number. We said with odd numbers, then it, if there's an odd number of negatives, then the answer will be negative. So we know the answer will be negative. So we can do this out. Negative two times one is negative two. Negative two times six would be negative 12 because a negative times a positive would be a negative. And don't forget your triangle if you need it. A negative and a positive is a negative. So yeah, that's it. Good luck, good luck on today's lesson and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.